Okay, so today what I want to do is to carry on with the render system and to shift the focus away from the position data, which uh, got put in last time, and to move forward to the armature skeletal data and look towards uh, replacing the, what is currently called the VK animation, Vulcan animation system. Replacing that or merging that into the render system and hopefully optimizing it because right now what it's doing is every frame it's going through every possible let me just double check that i'm not crazy it's going through every possible armature right and then it's trying to find the resource the mesh resource and the armature resource and then it's uploading that data every single frame whether i need it or not and of course like having to find these resources every time is a bit of a slow process. So that's a number of things that I want to get done today. So to begin with, the first thing towards this would have to be, of course, uh, figuring out what has been modified. Um, so that way I can hopefully minimize the amount of uh, processing that I need to do later. So that requires, I believe, the armature system. Is This is the armature system. The armature system is the thing that um, applies animations to skeletal nodes, skeletons, or it, to the armatures, I should say. Yeah. So first off, need to do this. Need to basically say... Ah... <sighs> Resource pool. Okay, I need that's the components, and then I have fo ECS entity list. Uh, entity list. I'll say fo null handle. We'll start with that. Okay, and then I need to that is going to be put into the armature state pool when we come in and initialize it down here. So mm, yeah, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so after we've acquired the item, the data, put it in, then I need to do O oh, result set. So this is going to actually return a result. Result equals O oh, ECS create entity list. It's going to be and modified entity list if results dot value not equal for success then I need to go to initialization failed which will be down here where I have to have like if result dot value value not equal to success then I need to deinitialize whatever was initialized and return result regardless of yeah okay go to that that's a semicolon then I need to, because there's more than one uh, failure case because there's also the case like if I result equals fo ECS component pool add entity list to an armature state pool. And we have and modified entity list. We add that. If this fails, kind of the same thing. No matching call to this. Okay. Armature state pool. Do I have to say no hold on uh build fast come on okay uh right it's just the handle there we go okay and then on the other side on the deinitialization side i need to do if modified and do this not equal to null handle then i need to Do two things. I need to first off make sure it's not um pull, and pull remove entity list. 
Because the only reason we're go we're always going to have the amateur state pool because we try we got to this point on the other side anyways. So yeah, modified into to list. Whether or not that passes, I don't care. Um then I need to destroy it. And to list. And then I say, hey, you know, modified entity list equals foe null handle. And then the old stuff, which is that. So, which means down in the processing. Now I need to actually set. Um, The, the actual modified the standard four of oh, entity ID. I'm still processing all these in a single thread, so I'm not going to bother doing anything special with that. But what's going to happen is that somewhere in here, I'm going to do that. And then at the end, I'm going to say, um, I need to add, I need to reset the, the entity list. So, uh, um, modified equals modified IDs that size, uh, for the ID star in modified IDs, modified IDs dot data. And then we get to the actual foe ECS reset the entity list modified entity list with the list count being there's one list. This is the count in that list. So and num modified. And then here's the lists themselves, but there's only the one. So we just do that. Okay. Now I currently process the objects themselves. I don't actually go through the NID system right now. Okay, so this is gonna change up. O N C I D constar P Armature State ID equals um, oh, ECS component pool ID pointer armature. Then I kind of want to do this oh, entity ID const star const pn armature state ID equals state ID plus the count that takes us to the end. You can flip that around so that we're going to be doing this instead. Plus plus p armature state data. That's what I want to call that instead. But that data, 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 data. Uh, so, okay, what's that? Okay, and this is the end ID. That is being done because, okay, let me actually see, like, when do I actually do the processing here? All right. So basically be after this point. After this point, I'm locked in and I'm going to actually do it. Or... Default armature values. Okay, no, it's after this point. Okay. Modified IDs done in place back. The P armature state ID star, the armature state ID. Then at the end, reset the entity list. Okay. Let's get that. All right. Make sure that doesn't crash or anything.
Okay, and the animations are still going as usual. That's great. This isn't the window I want. This is the window I want. Okay. Close those. We move on to the render system, I think. So. First things first. Render system, I need to actually pull in the armature state pool. Armature state pool, armature state pool. We need to include the armature state pool, that's great. Grab that, go to the source side. It's going to be there. I need to actually add it to the render system structure here uh hmm position and then we're going to have position gpu position gpu then we're going to have armature gpu hmm Something like that. Uh, bow armature state pool armature state pool. That is back down here. I add it here. Arm at wool arm at sure. So I add that, I need to also remove it on the other side. Okay. Now, when I initialize, when I'm compiling the initial sets of data, how, how do I, hmm, because of course I, at what point, oh my goodness, what is the hook? Once I've decided to start rendering something, that I start like pulling the armature rendering to do it. Do I grab the bone information to start deforming the mesh bones instead? Because I can't, can I do it separately? Like if I just do one pass on this and then, no, that wouldn't work. No, 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 no. Because first of all, I need to make sure that, hey, I'm actually going to render something. So it has to be not during when I'm awaiting loading. Because it's a, um, it's a function or it's the data it's pulling from is the render data, which is going to be the mesh. Because that's, right, let me just double check. There's two bits of data, the mesh data. We're just going to have graphics bones, I believe, down here somewhere. No, P mesh. Yes, P mesh graphics bones, and then it's mapped to the armature bone. So I need to make sure that those both exist. Now, if I'm here, I only care about starting to even bother with the armature information after I've already secured the mesh data, which will be here, and when I'm loading it in, which will be here specifically. Not when it's loading, because it, when it's loading, it's obviously still pulling the mesh data, and the armature state will have already the information for it to be even um, for the armature state to be even modified. Requires that the armature data for it is also loaded on by the animation system instead. So yeah, okay. I need some uh, data before I can do this, though. I need basically a, what the armature CPU data, which is going to have to be how am I doing this? How am I? 
like positions, position, uh, position GPU data, I want to be able to have a CPU buffer that I copy in at will, like on either frames or non frames. And then I just copy the entire buffer in onto the GPU when I need it on a per frame basis. So I'm going to need on the CPU side, I'm going to require at least size E bone armature bone data size bone buffer bone data size I'll just call it bone data size which is in bytes well can I measure it in the number of bones no because I need to be able to do minimum buffer alignment as well so it would have to be um, not, what do I have this in capacity? Did I do this? Did I do this in a really silly way? Oh no, capacity does make sense because of this, because like each position will only be there once. Like there's one 64 byte struct for each position, but I can't rely on capacity like that because I may have, you know, more than one bone per mesh, per uh, descriptor. So I could, like, if the um, buffer alignment is 128, then I can fit two bones in one of those anyway. So it has to be in the actual bite size. Um, bone, bone data size, bone data capacity. I'm just going to say bone data size for now. And then I need some bone info. I just need a void star for the actual e bone data. That's the CPU buffer. I'm also going to need some ability to map out into the bone data where the armatures are. Like I need the offset and size because. Again, like going back to the position, that was easy because it's always like um, the size was always 64 bytes and each of the offsets into the position buffer is plus 128 bytes, I think, or 64 bytes, whatever the minimum. Can I even find? Come on, come on, come on. Whatever the alignment is. Every alignment. But I cannot rely on that because it may, you know, there may be one bone, maybe four bones, maybe a hundred bones. I don't know. So I can't, I need some kind of system to say, you know, how, where, where, where does each mesh's bones start and what's the size? I need custom offsets and sizes for each of them. So I'll just say this is position stuff. Let's kind of put it here position then we go down to about year armature stem armature okay we'll have a struct which is armature data whatever which is going to be a size t offset and a size t uh, size, bite size, cool. And then I'm going to need a whole bunch of these. So this is for the bone raw bone data, and the armature each armature data is going to be a description of a point and set inside the bone data. So what I need is size t. This can be the capacity, um, armature capacity, um. Armature data, star key, armature sets, armature set. I don't know. Um, data. Data. Okay. So th these can are independent. Then I need some uh, armature. I can reuse that. Armature data, which is just going to describe the the um, 
I'm going to be allocating sections of bone data for each armature. So I need to like, when I free stuff, I need to know what's available to be used. So I need one of these, which is just, you know, um, free bone blocks, zones, blocks. Okay, back down to here when I'm initializing everything. Graphics initializing, initialization. Amateur data. Initialization. Which is going to be P render system. Armature. Data capacity equals, let's say, 256 armatures for the moment. P render system. P armature data equals data star malloc would be 256. No. Just do this. Time size of armature data. So not entire like okay yeah no 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 this this isn't going to work. This would have to be catalog because in order in order to determine uh, if an armature data struct is empty, I need to I can't use an offset of zero, but I can use the size of zero to deter to mark like hey this entry is not used. Um, so that's that. P render system bone data size equals um forty ninety six times size of BLM map four, which I'm just gonna do that for now, just to keep it easy. Render system, bone data size, pre bone data equals malloc. This could just be malloc, right? Yeah. So it's just like it's just this. It's just the raw byte size. And then P render system uh free bone blocks. Wait, is it a block? Yeah, whatever. Zones. Allox. That'll make sense. In place. Back. Armature data, where the offset starts at zero, and dot size equals uh, this. Okay. Let's give that a rename. Amazing. All right this um okay i need the armature data i need to be able to pull in the armature data the armature state data armature state Alt star const this will be p star armature Data equals oh armature state star const OECS component data pointer of armature state pool pool and we have this that and that basically yeah armature Armature, great. Uh, change over to the other pool. Okay. Put together, put together. This isn't moving because it's going to be based on the offset of that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. T, armature state. ID equals standard lower of 
whatever p armature state id already is p end armature state id and then i need the t render state id that'll take us up to at least that but won't take us further as usual I need to say hey if p armature state id not equal the end and the id equals the render state id then i have a matching render state and i have a matching armature state i have data i want to add it so what i'm going to have to do is when i have so much like with uh, before git render so no no git armature data and have this it's going to be t hmm. i need the armature data so e start plus e armature id minus p start i don't actually have start do i i need the start oh get out of here star that is const yeah start armature state id that's great um i'm going to have the this is all going to this, this data is going to be uh added to the current data sets right now and then what's going to, and then what we want to do is after we've done whatever we could with that then we'll add it there instead okay so now I need to get armature data or clear it. Okay, one thing I'm going to still require is much like this, I need these. Pretty sure. Hmm. Armature data. Armature GPU data. It's going to be similar. Item capacity. So it's descriptor. It's not that. It's, um. Descriptor count and own buffer size, which is raw instead. Okay, then I need so now I need to go through with the clear, clear data. Clear armature GPU data. Gonna be somewhat position. Whoop. Freeing those. Freeing that and then destroying the buffer. Yeah, so this will be the same. Okay. O result set to create GPU data. This is going to be somewhat similar, but not entirely because I can, okay, you know what? Let me do a copy paste and instead, what's going to happen? Armature GPU data, armature, yeah, yeah. So, alignment capacity i don't actually need to know alignment for this i do need buffer size i don't need to know binding or layout okay hold on is by okay because what's going to happen is i'm going to be creating the pool wait I can create the descriptor sets, right? 
I just don't need to write to them. Okay, so I'll allocate the, the descriptor pool. I'll, sorry, I'll create the descriptor pool. I'll allocate the sets, but I won't write them. That's what I would think, right? Because it's, yeah, it's the writing set. Okay, so I can do most of these things. I don't need this either. So these two go away. This goes away. This goes capacity. This will be, okay. But I still need something, right? I need the layout. I need the descriptor layout still, but not the binding. So we've got the buffer size. We will have size T descriptor count with that layout. Okay, so it becomes dot uh, buffer size equals buffer size dot descriptor count. Descriptor count, right? So this becomes literally just buffer size. Um, <laughs> descriptor count is descriptor count. Max sets is this. Yeah. Oh, this has to be U and 32, does it? Okay. Descriptor count. Sets of descriptor sets. It's great. We go up to descriptor count sets. We allocate them all. Otherwise, we're clearing the data. Mm-hmm. Right. And then what's going to have happen is we're going to be writing the sets as the you know, armature gets added or removed on a per frame basis. If they need to be updated, that is. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Where was I even? I got... Okay. So after this point, I need to get... I need to actually pull in the armature data. So clear render data, get render data. This is void, right? Yeah, okay, void. Check load state. Okay, I'll just kind of put it up here for the moment so it's closer to where I'm working. Get armature data. So this is pulling the armature data and putting it into the um, per the render data sets. But that, but the render data set, star p uh, data set. So first off, I need to, where's uh, BK animation? Pull in this from the P data set mesh. If the mesh graphics bone graphics bones sorry is empty then i don't need to actually do anything here so i can just leave there's no bones on this mesh leave return otherwise on the no I need to get the number of bones. Number of mesh bones. 
specifically, because armature bones can be different. B mesh size, great. Okay. Armature. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I need to find. I know the number of bones. I know that each bone is about. Um, Bones. Okay, I need to do two things. Okay, no, yeah. So. Back up, back up. I got that. Great. Size of BLM. No, just the number of bones for now. Great. Fantastic. Whatever. Now I need to actually find armature data star. I need to find an empty armature data node that I can use. No pointer. So it's not as a null pointer for size e i zero. I is less than um render oh I need the render system in here as well. Or do I? Yes, because I may, if I can't find one, if they're all full, then I need to expand it. Ugh. Not great, but you know, whatever. Render system, armature, capacity, was it? Yeah. Capacity. And this needs to be moved after this, then. I can't type today, can I? Armature data. So I got the armature capacity. Or maybe not. Okay. Uh, what's going on? F oh, oh. There we go. So I got that. I'm just going to roll through. Prospective entry equals key render system key armature data plus I. The perspective entry size equals zero. Or rather, not empty, unused. I kind of put that up here so I can actually remember that a bit more easily. Okay, so we got that. If I say P armature entry equals P prospective entry, so I have an entry secured, then I can break out of here. This is still under a single threaded mechanism. Hmm. Yeah, okay. If P armature entry is null pointer, then I would have to reallocate a larger thing, but I'm not going to do that right now. So rather what I want to do is I want to say, hey, there's only like four, so that I run into that limit very quickly. 
when I want to scale it. Um, now I need to find, after that point, I need to find the bones. I need to find enough free space for the bones. So, okay, bones. Post free alloc equals p render system free uh, bone allocations dot n we'll say, and then we basically do the same thing as this, where we're just going to iterate through, find either the first matching one or the smallest entry. I think is how I'm going to work with uh, how I'm going to search for. So for uh, You render system free dot begin free allocate iterator not equal p render system free dot end do that if the free allocate iterator size equals the exact matching that I'm looking for which is Determine so it equals this times size of LM mat four. Quad data size, bone data size. Then I need to do something to hmm. Okay. If required now I need to make sure that it's at least the same the size of the minimum um alignment. If required bone data size is less than or equal to p render system min buffer alignment, then I want to make sure required bone data size equals that. Otherwise, if it's larger, then I need to make sure that I expand the required size up to the next alignment uh, position buffer location offset means size, oh, sorry, required bone size would be what? I need to increase it by the minimum buffer alignment minus the current size mod the min buffer alignment. That should take me up to what is required, right? It's this plus alignment minus that which I didn't need minus the overshoot. Yeah. Okay. This is what I need. If this equals that. Yeah, 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 it'll be that. So if I have a matching one, then uh, the proposed free alloc equals the alloc iterator right now, which is the one I'm sitting on, and I break out. If the proposed free alloc is at the end of this still, then I want to like basically take whatever the first free uh, free block that I, I hit. 
No, no, no. In that case... No, yeah. This would equal begin. It's the first block. And then I just shrink it from there. So it becomes... Oh no, only if this is big enough. This may not be big enough. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's big enough. Not yet. So if it's at the end, so if it's still a thing, then I need to say, hey, if this is free allocator rater is size is greater than what's required, then I'll take it. I'll or for the moment, I'll just say I'll just set it as the proposed one. The iterator. Otherwise, free iterator size is less than the proposed. No, no, so. I, it's still greater than, because if it was equal, then it would have hit the first case. Otherwise, it's greater than. It's greater than um, required. And pre alloc iterator size is less than what's proposed. And I'm not going to be hitting this one because I already hit this one. Right? This, if this is at the end, it always goes into this. It'll never hit this one. Yeah, yeah. Proposed free alloc size. It's greater than required, but it's still smaller than the one I have already. I roll with that one. Proposed equals free allocator. We do that till the end, and then we say, hey, okay. If proposed block or allocation is still at the end, what was that? Okay, I'll assume it's just Wayland not being super stable. Gotta have to move back to X, I guess. <sighs> Something, something weird is happening. Okay, I'm here. If it's at the end, then I didn't find an allocation. I'm not going to bother trying to re to enlarge it quite yet. Large enough. Larger. Yeah, look larger. Okay. So at this point, I have both. Or if I haven't aborted, I'll have both the armature data entry. I have the armature entry and I have the block data. So now I need to do armature data new entry equals. Proposed free allocation. If the propose if the new entry dot size equals required bone data size, then I remove this our allocation that I'm just taking out from from the free set of free allocations. Proposed. And then I, uh, you know, whatever. Otherwise, it's otherwise it's larger than I need. It can either be the same size or larger. If it's larger than what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink. I'm just going to take what I need and then I'm going to leave. I'm going to update the proposed uh, free allocation on in the vector and just like re re you know move the offset forward and reduce the size appropriately so new blah new entry dot 
offset. I already have that. I just need to say size equals required data size. Still the same offset. So proposed real offset plus equals required. Yeah, it's a, it's a size D, so that works. Post free alloc equals size minus equals required phone data size. And then that's all I have to do. Then I'm for that. So so that's good. So then I say at the like P popo P armature entry star. Whoops, where am I? equals the new entry so this is now a thing it's tied there and then i need in the armature sorry the render data where's the render it's public isn't it yes this will have to be what size t or something like that you went 32 uh, it has to be let's say armature offset Armature index. I'll, I'll call it an armature index for now. That'll start off at zero. This that means p data set armature index equals uh um p armature entry minus p render system p armature data okay then i would return if i didn't do any of this then armature index would remain at zero and then we're good okay so what i would need to do here is unclear render data I need to say if e render data armature index not equal un32 max actually it would have to be that um, equals un32 max I know there's another one here somewhere. Here we are. Dot entity equals just those two locations. Okay. Because it can start at zero. If it's not equal to that, then I need to do a thing where I say, hey, you know, um, Key render. Oh no, this requires. Hmm. hmm. Where do I? Okay, let me actually just create a function, just like you know, void. Clear armature data, or do I already have that? I have clearing of our armature GPU data, so render system If p data set armature index not equal to un32 max, then I need to, need to go through and basically say, hey, you know, p data set equals un32 max. Okay. 
Okay, if it equals, then I just like continue or return early. Otherwise, I'm doing everything else. Whoops. Like this. Okay. So, P render system armature, P armature data, P data set armature index equals blank. Equals a blank armature data. So that's zero, zero. Oh, not quite yet, because what I need is... I need to add P data set, sorry, render system, free bone allocations dot in place back this. What I will do later is I will make it a bit smarter. So Um, train station other locations. what I'll probably want to do is kind of have like allocations be done in kind of a Maybe in like a in a sorted manner, increasing sorted manner. So that way I can merge blocks that are together into larger ones, make it easier for uh, determining something or other. I don't know, whatever. Later. For now, clearing the armature data is right there. That's great. That resets that. That adds the uh, on allocation back onto this. So clear our armature data. Um, P render system and P data set. Let's just kind of do that everywhere. That and items awaiting should not have it. Mm. Clear render data doesn't actually, yeah, it doesn't actually do that. So one, two, three. There. I'm I'm just doing it everywhere. I don't care. Then I can remove cases where I don't actually need it later. Build a load, discard. Be rather safer than sorry at the moment. What am I looking at here? Hmm. I mean, hmm. Yeah, realistically, I probably would have wanted to have this merged into here, but keeping it separate for now. Keep things a bit less, a bit more disentangled. 
even if it's a bit more something or other. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So let's say let's let's actually go through a run of this, hey, eh? and actually see what happens. Hmm? So first of all, let's make sure I can actually hit this point where I'm actually going to get armature data. Actually, actually, no. First, let's make sure it compiles. Big, big, uh, big thing. Big plays here. Armature states. State pool, okay. Okay, so yeah, he's a whaling now. Interesting result. It never actually happened ever. Which is interesting. I would have expected at least. Did none of. Oh, none of these actually loaded at the start because. They all went into this instead. Okay. Yeah, okay, that makes a bit of sense. Let's. Um, we have to do it on when we're doing the processing for. About here, right? Still loading, loaded, ready to go. Here we go. This is looking better. So, okay, this is the point where I would actually be using it instead, which is right here. I found the entry, the entity entry. So at this point, I want to actually get. Oh, I, I need the. Um... Let me actually grab this. Okay. From the P render system armature state pool. Great, great, great. This is an increasing manner. So you go back down to here. We're loaded, we're ready to go. I want to say, hey, you know. Let me actually split this to the right so I can copy what I already have. Which is this. Bam. Amazing. And it's not that, it's just the address of what's pointed to by that. Okay. Let's go. Great. We are in F11. Okay, except for that. We're here. Mesh. Uh, there are our bones. Yes. For our bone day data size. There are 256. So that's like what? One, two. The minimum buffer alignment is 64, right? Yeah. So that's going to be fine. No, that's not. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that'll still match, right? 256. Uh, hold on. Two hundred fifty. Where's my calculator? 
Okay, so 256 divides is divided by 64 perfectly four times. So that's a screw up on my part. What is going on here? Sixty four minus zero. Okay. Okay, what if hmm. do this once? Off. Mm. Alignment diff equals that. If alignment diff, because I just want to remove, I just I just didn't want to do this expensive modulo as much. But I may as well just do like if not equals zero, then it becomes this, right? That. Okay, now we're on 256, great. Uh, we can just take the first entry, which should just be 0 and 0. Yes, they are. We break out, got something, great. Uh, so we're at the end. There should only be one thing in here, which is of the total size, that's great. Yep, yep, great. Perfect. We're out of here. It's not the end, so that's great. We get the new entry equals this. It's not that size, it's this. So the new entry equals required bone size. So this increases, proposed free allocation increases by that to 256 minus two, yes. Armature entry equals a new entry. So that's where the bone data will go. And then we have the armature index equals one, zero. Because it's the first entry, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we go on and we're, we're, we're off to the whatever. So we need to do that a couple more times. Render state removals, modified render state. I'm not even unloaded, failed. Uh, yeah, okay, that's... When I get the armature state, I'd have to re... I, I just have to... I, it has to be all able to also clear it just in case it is different. And it would also have to be integrated into... Yeah. So I already got the first case, which is here. I did it down here. This is on the new one. This is on a modified, right? Modified render state. And then this is a render state insertion. So let's do the easy case here where it's being loaded. Let me grab this stuff.
Whoa. Okay, that's wrong. Start armature state equals B armature state. That would also be wrong up here. You got it. Great. Right. One, two, oh no. It's also wrong up here. That's wrong here, and that'll also be wrong here. Slid it right. You grab the this. So this is on the insertion. So this is on a clean slate right here. Get render data. Do 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 do. It's loaded. We're grabbing the data. Good to go. P. Okay, no, that's correct. That is correct, but it's the wrong entity. And this would have to be the new data set. Hmm. Okay, so in this case, in the modified case, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to clear it out and then re-add. I'm just doing it the very dumb way just to get it, just to get it done. Um, entity list count. What was I doing? Right, because, yeah, it would have to be reset every time. Render, start render state, render state ID... We'll have to be here. So go down here. We're we're clearing it. System. Uh, this stuff. And we'll only. Call this to reload the armature information if we're still loaded. So that's if it's still loading, it goes there. If it's failed, it goes there. Otherwise, ready we go. Amazing. Then it's the render data iterator. Hold on. Yes. Not as great, but cool. Okay, first of all, make sure nothing's about to explode just by doing whatever this is. Great. Now, this is a modified render state. I need to deal with the modified armature state. I don't even have anything to do with... Oh, yeah, that's not great, is it? Where's the position? I just I just go through all the positions every 
buff every I can do this because positions aren't being modified right now. Yeah, this is terrifying. Okay. Okay, well... For now, I guess what I'm going to do is I am just going to do it the very dumb way. Armature. Buffer. I just want to make sure I can get the data in the GPU. It's not going to be too much worse than the uh, current this. Would it? No. I don't think so anyways. This would be pulling in the render state. Yeah. So let's see what we've got. We're going to, if yeah, um, hmm. Can't hide behind that. Nope, it's just going to have to be raw. Okay. Uh, let's just kind of put this into a scope like this. We're going to have. To, we're going to go through the render objects. In, did I go through by that? I think so. I just want to say four, right? While. what's going to happen we're going to go through all of those position i know at least the buffers are this already are are already size so i don't have to worry about that i just need to go like if render data iterator oh i also need to deal with like the uh render state i'm oh, sorry armature state removals and insertions not yet Armature index, not equal. UN32 max. If it equals that, just. Under data error. So just for loop, right? We'll just kind of continue. Otherwise, armature data star e armature data entry. I call it for now. Equals p render system armature data plus your data iterator. Armature index. So I got that. Now I know I know the start location of where I need to write to. So at this point now I need to start grab I need to I need to pull the armature state data. Which will be happening about here. If I'm inside this loop, I know it exists somewhere, or I should, it should exist somewhere. So P, armature, state ID, equals standard lower bound between the armature state ID, the end armature state ID, render data iterator, entry, entity,
Armature state. One star P. Armature. Data equals P armature P start plus state ID minus P start armature state ID. Okay, so about that. Secure that. I already have the mesh from this. So I would need to pull this instead. I still need to do this. Low resource armature. So that's still one to do. That resource pool. P armature state data armature ID state armature ID. I don't have. Okay, so there. If I know that. If this or that P armature state Data. Like that, there's small cases I still have to worry about. Then I'd have to get the resource, the armature resource. If it's not loaded, leave. Otherwise, I'd have to do this. Right. Okay, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. This equals P render system armature P bone data plus P renders uh, plus P armature entry offset. Okay, so that's that P buffer data. I'm not entirely sure what exactly is going on. Last bone equals that. Okay, we go through the bones, we're matching them. Per node basis from the armature. Uh, I need to grab the mesh. In the render data iterator mesh. It's a direct pointer. All right.
So that should be entering all the data into the, into the CPU buffer. And then that would mean um, now I need to get the CPU buffer into the GPU. One of I need to prep one of them. Okay. First of all, let's make sure it's not about to just fail from address issues. Not quite. Okay, let me make sure it's actually doing something as well. Okay. Okay, so it's putting data in there. If, okay, yeah, yeah, so that's position GPU. Now I need to do the armature GPU. I have a frame index, yep, okay. If I don't actually have a count of these things, but it would be, it would still have to require like one of these, anyways. That's like that also has to be zero, greater than zero. At least uh, at the moment. F P oh right, I need to actually add stuff EK descriptor set layout for the armature and UM thirty two T armature binding. Your GPU data, which is this again. A thousand lines of code. This is uh, getting a bit large and unwieldy. Not great. So this would be like the case if I need to resize. Otherwise, it'd basically be this again. So this graphic session, armature, GPU data, allocation, da 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 da, the bone data, buffer, data, and this is just uh, the entirety of um, data size. Just that. Mem copied over. Okay. If this dot buffer size is less than the render system. Um, data size or the render system armature sure capacity uh, armature sure capacity then we need to do the thing where we clear the old Create the new. Okay. OK. 
okay, this takes in, takes in graphic session, buffer size. So this is the count, the armature capacity, and the layout of the armature layout, but not the binding, importantly. That's something I need to figure out actually right away is the armature binding and layout positions when I initialize. So got that. Do 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 do. This should just equal this regardless, right? Yeah. Okay, I kind of screwed this up a little bit. And uh, picks up minimum alignment position data size. Um, decoupled. I need to do that. Otherwise, uh, e render system armature. Layout equals this will be hiding in here somewhere. Just creating the no, it has to be in here, right? Phone. This is just me creating the buffer. I'm not actually redoing anything with the descriptor pools. Interesting. I'm allocating bone set layout, which is set way up here. Okay. Armature binding equals this. Roll back on down to here. Okay. So now at this point, I have two things to do. I need to, if it's a new thing, then I need to go through all of them. Um, create, or sorry, write. Scripter. Now, I don't, uh, but the thing is to update them, I need to know what were, what were added or removed since the last frame. So, I'm just going to write them all every time for now. Just to get things going. You do. So I need to go through four size. No, you and thirty two. I equals zero. I is less than P render system armature capacity. Great. Uh, 
armature data star armature equals enter system e armature data plus i e armature data size equals zero continue otherwise otherwise I have stuff so I need to actually do the writing which is going to be I'm not allocating, I'm just getting the buffer info and writing. So this can be somewhat set outside of it. So we're talking about um, this dot buffer. Offset and range. I don't have either of those right now, but I do, but I can set this. I, don't know, I could set multiple. If I know ahead of time how many I'm updating. Ah, uh, but then I'd have to do, hmm, I'll do one at a time for now. Destination set, bone descriptor set. Uh, I don't quite have the destination set quite yet. I do have the binding. Okay, yeah, that's that. Uh, armature binding, great. Script a set of one, that, that, that. And then on each go through in here, I'll set the specifics. So p uh, buffer info dot offset equals the p armature entry offset buffer info dot range equals p armature size and write set dot destination set equals um star of p no of this no of this frame, armature frames, blah, 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 blah. P descriptor sets plus I, since they're, since they're built to match in lockstep. Then we just write the set. Uh, which I do not have here. No, no. It'll be up here. Getting the GPU device. Yeah, graphic session. We got that, so I don't have to keep. Pulling that every time. They're all updated. I update the all okay, all the descriptor sets. They're all they're all allocated. I'm just updating them every time, writing to them. Update the data. Okay. And only when there's data. Okay, these two are the ones I care about. They're, they're the ones with modifications. Okay. With all of that said, can I? Okay, Wayland, please stop just magically changing what I'm looking at. Armature state. This is what I'm trying to remove, right? No, not something in here. Render state. Is it in the render state? Something somewhere. 
this, this descriptor set. This is what I'm looking to get rid of. So I need to change that. I need to do this. I need to do, so I have that. I need to pass out, much like here, this. I need to pass out the VK descriptor set. Let's start, get armature. Descriptor. That's render system. Render system. U32T frame index. Get that. Go down to the bottom of this. Armature GPU, that, great. Go back to render graph, render scene. Armature descriptor set, great stuff. Great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. So I have that. What am I incrementing? Yeah, I'm incrementing. Okay. That's one. Two. Armature. Descriptor sets. Frame index. So it's basically the same thing. We're just going increasing. We're not. No, no. We're not doing that. We're almost doing that. If this is this is a static thing, what's happening is VK descriptor set VK null handle. If key data set, so again, like this is equals not equals you and p2 max and that means hey you know armature descriptor set equals mm, p armature descriptor sets that and then we pass that in just after that okay then up here we say hey you know we have this if somewhere in here I'll have like the P yeah this guy here if phoned then I want to use do that okay what nothing absolutely nothing and then it crashes cool why because i passed in absolutely nothing okay well that certainly explains something a little bit maybe uh ba -ba 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 -ba. Why? Okay, this... Position, okay, that's null and they're both null, that's fine. Okay, let me just go to the first actual use case. Okay, in this case, we did indeed have nothing. Why is there... Did I just not write the data? Like, am I... Am I erring out here? Am 
I am. I am erroring out pretty bad. Okay, cool. I mean, not great, but... Stop, 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 stop. Okay, reasonable. Uh, we go to this point. Success. Uh, next case. Ooh, armature. I mean, that's not great either. Um, Yeah, let's see where this decides to die. BK success. BK success. BK success. BK success. Okay. There's four descriptors. That's cool. Out of pool memory. Okay. How much did I create this with? I thought when I create the pool up here, created it with the pool size count, there's one pool that I'm creating with up to this many sets. Yeah. Okay, when, at what point does it fail? Which, which one was it? It's on number three, which will be the fourth one. Yeah, okay, you know what? And if I just like do slap uh, at times two on that max sets. Okay. Something a bit weird just happened with that. You know what? I'll just increase by one. On the count of four. Otherwise, looky what we got here. That is a result. Not perfect, but that, to my mind, is an improvement. Ah, where is the position? Oh, no, no, because uh, armature data was passed in via that. Okay, 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 okay. Get rid of that. Close that. Let's um, stage those. Stage 
this. Great, 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 great. So this is the point where I start, where I get the uh, good old fashioned axe out and let Wayland kind of freak out for a moment. And then remove the old animation. It's not that. Remove the old animation. Right. I think. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll just do it. Do it. Take, ha uh, just axe it. Axe it all. It's going away. VK animation. It's gone. Come on. Whoop. It's all gone. Let's grab out the old animation system. So this it's gone this is all gone if I can select that it's gone animation pool Um, the animation pool, yep, it's gone. Okay, great. Type definitions, the old animation pool, it gone. There'll be other locations, so let me just let compiler find it for me. Like at the main application, have that, and then somewhere down here we'll have, yep. Uh, the point where I used to do this, which is now being done by that instead. Ooh, maybe not then. Dang, why not? No, wait, hold on a second. Armature uh, State currently has this. Get rid of that. Don't need it anymore. That's going to be a flag somewhere else. Yeah, here we go. In the render state. This is what was determining... Nope, this is not what I was looking for at all, actually. Bone Vertex... Bone descriptor set, yeah, get rid of that. Bone descriptor set. Well, that was incorrect. Oh, wait, X equals that. Um... But in the render scene, there should be some locations where it's going to say, hey, you know, if that, then it's not. Yep, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So if this and that is not null, then it should be boned again. And indeed, it is magic. Absolute magic. So that was what? 300 line old system, which isn't very good, being replaced with something that's probably way larger. Like how many did I add? About 400 lines. But it's also doing a lot more, and it's not complete yet either. Um, we add some uh, render system going here. I need to add some notes to myself. Like what's going to probably happen? So what I'll do offline is I'm just going to add the boilerplate kind of code where um, I'm going to check on.
uh, armature state removals. And then I'm going to that modified render state, modified Um, modified armature state and then inserted armature when the insert armature state has been removed modified or because I need okay yeah because I also still need to do to um Modified. Yeah, because if uh, the mesh, if it, if the mesh, no, if the associated armature, no, that doesn't make sense either. No, yeah, yeah. If the armature has been modified, no, it doesn't. I, I, exactly. I don't actually know. I'm just kind of like uh, it's stuck in my mind. Regardless, removal and insertions. I need to at least do if they've been inserted or moved um, separately distinctly from the render state. I need to handle those cases. So I'll do those offline. And then what's the next time I come back, it will either be either are we taking a break from this, maybe doing like uh, uh, optimizing physics or uh, taking a look at the physics system because that's getting a bit stale and old and still like it's still very bare bones or start working on really starting to optimize the render system, which means like the position and the armature, mostly the position and armature stuff. Like the armature, I can imagine like creating a cache so that, I, you know, like a, a mat, some kind of cache that easily. So first off, you know, fixing up the right descriptor sets and that, and then creating a, a cache, which does the, um, which has a really good mapping for uh, the CPU side for mapping particular armature resources to specific mesh 3d mesh bone sets so i don't have to do like this search as much maybe i could just have like a direct set of mappings i think and a whole bunch of other things like there's a lot of optimization work that really needs to go into this probably some rework some reorganizations but this as a start it's great so you know until next time cheers